Well, welcome back to a new video. She's a cold one today. Had my skid steer plugged in, but it's still not starting. It's only like minus 20, so I'm not impressed about that. So I'm gonna go make some room in my attached garage, in my house, and we're just gonna plug it in and park it in there from now on because this happened last winter, but we were parking it in the barn, so it's not exposed to wind and it's plugged in. <laughs> but somehow it still doesn't want to start, so we're gonna put it in the attached garage. It's foggy out. <laughs> oh man, you could kind of see it dropping in earlier in the beginning of the video. And now it's like, oh wow. I was just bringing away a bunch of garbage from my garage. We, uh, we have an interesting habit of letting that pile up, unfortunately. So I just dragged it out on the sled, but that's so funny. You can just see like the frost everywhere. It's so cool. Okay. My garage is as neat as it's going to get. I'm not going to show you what it did look like because yeah, it didn't look good. So We've got this laid out so that we can keep the melt contained to one area. I have this contraption, so I am, I'm really hoping that I can get it to start on my own because I'm not good at using these things. Like, I'm gonna be YouTubing how to use it and then hopefully I don't actually even need to use it because I have it plugged in so maybe because I was messing around with it earlier, it's just gonna start again. But yeah, it's really unfortunate that the heating element is not doing its job at only minus 20. Like that's not cold at all. I don't understand why that is not working. So yeah, we're gonna try to make it so that it's always gonna start because we park it in here. So I've got it connected, it is charging. It says it's at 90%, but I don't believe it. <laughs> this is me really trying to fuddle around with this stuff because I've, you know, I just never had any interest in it. And it's unfortunate that I didn't because now I have my own farm and I'm just kind of SOL whenever something like this happens, like obviously. I can call my dad for help and stuff, but he's got his own business to run. So does my brother. My sister's busy too. My mom also, you know, like me, does not have as much knowledge of this stuff as we do about the animals. So I was able to figure out where the battery was, you know, and positive, negative connections. And I'm gonna give this a few minutes while I double check goats. And then hopefully I can get this thing driven inside the garage at my house where it's just gonna sit warmer because I tried putting a heater to point into the engine earlier and then the tarp over top so that it would kind of keep the heat directed but it just was not working so hopefully this works and yeah. Hopefully I can get this barn insulated soon. That's the plan. And then in the winter, in the future, I can park it in the barn. But obviously as it is, if it's this temperature and colder, I can't park it out here. So unfortunately.
buddy? There you go. So, we were able to add three new pens. But our other panels and front gates are currently still on a ship at sea, so this is what we're left with for now. I'm really excited to see how this all looks when it's all full of calves. Look at how big that is. That is going to be beautiful when it's all full. I'm so excited. Starting the electrical as well on this side. You can see the conduit. There's no lights in yet. But we're very close to being finished with these calf room additions. mechanic that works at the dairy farm and he was able to get that skid steer going so there was a circulatory heater that's supposed to circulate like the antifreeze and to keep things from freezing inside the engine it's not a normal block heater but it wasn't working so that's why the skid steer was not starting so it wasn't anything that i did wrong it was just not you know it's just bad luck, I guess. <laughs> so he's going to get a new one of those and install that tomorrow. And another little update on the goats is Whimsy and Silver there have buckwheat and this whiner pancakes as companions now. Because I just figured they're also better off being inside because they look pretty cold. Pancakes actually... That one, Pancakes, that little white guy, he's actually lost quite a bit of weight since he's, you know, come off the bottle, which isn't good. So he won't be, he won't be doing well at all in these temperatures. So it's just better to bring him inside. And I'm going to have to bed these guys up frequently for the next little while. And then maybe when it's nice outside, they can go hang out outside again because they were out with like minus five and minus six. And apparently at the beginning of December, it's supposed to get to that temperature during the day. So hopefully, hopefully that is correct. Hey, pancakes, you needed a little bit of saving, huh? Turd is probably the most vocal goat we have on the farm. And I get so annoyed with him sometimes, but I love him, so hey. You're very quiet though, Whimsy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go check on the skid steer and drive it around and then I'm gonna park it in here where it's gonna be much nicer and much warmer for it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video there, guys. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend and leave a comment of what your favorite part of the video was. All of the engagement helps. It shows YouTube that you guys are enjoying what you're looking at. So I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.